Dale, tell him we can do it. <laughs> I'm not so sure. <laughs> Dale's like, why do we keep sobbing? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Hey, who's this guy? <laughs> Who knows? Dale. <laughs> it's Dale, AA70Y. Ready to go. Yeah, we're gonna go try to, we're gonna attempt uh, Gobbler, Gobbler Peak, Peak yeah. right near uh, Nutrioso, Arizona. So I've tried to get there once and uh, had to abandon because the east side is coming up was once I got close, it was nothing but cliffs. I didn't have time to get to the other side before the thunderstorms rolled in. So Dale and I did a little bit of recon on the way back from our last trip. And uh, we think we can do it. I think we got it. Yeah. There's some, but there's been some other people doing it. that yeah. have done it. So we can at least get into the activation <laughs> zone, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can get so, it done. All right. Well, I like that, that vote of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> just for, all right. Well, good crack. It's just for you, Chris. All right. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are at the quasi trailhead here, starting point. As you can see on the chart here, it's right off this uh, main road. And uh, this is what we charted out and we're going to try to do today. What do you think, Dale? I think we got it. All right. Ray, you ready to go? Huh? She's like, yeah, I'm eating grass. Leave me alone. Let's get cracking. This would have been kind of interesting if you could get have gotten through here. I don't know much how how farther. Yeah. This would have been tough getting. Yeah, this would have been a little without tough going off to the left and then yeah. scraping up against these oaks. But it's that's a level hike, so it shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> beautiful hike so far. What do you think, Dale? I think it's a beautiful hike so far. Yeah. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Uh, trail good enough for a 4x4 not to pick up but uh, so far flat we know we're in for it I think the last quarter mile is a 600 feet incline so pretty much straight up but uh, it's a pretty hike it's going to be a warm one today unless we get some cloud cover which is quite possible. Some ripe raspberries. Ooh. Yeah, I want a raspberry. I'm gonna there, take you one. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'll one. take one of those. I'm surprised the critters haven't gotten into that yet. Mmm, tasty. So we got this mountain comes down. There's our saddle over there. I think we're about a half mile from it still though. But yeah, I just broke out of the trees. Gonna be some great views this morning too. And it's gonna be warm. Yeah, there's a little it's already kind of humid, yeah. It's steamy too, yeah. Yeah, steam coming off the ground. <laughs> so the hamlet of Nutrioso. You said there were a lot of elk on the dam this morning. Were you down yeah. there earlier? Oh uh, yeah, well that's that's alpine there. So. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, this is nutri. That's not alpine. Oh yeah, that's alpine. Um, Alpine's oh. around the corner. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Dale, yeah. have you already started drinking? <laughs> yeah. That's nutriosa down there. Isn't that Judd Lake? You know, you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> That's interesting. Well, that's our saddle. 
I'll put the map up here. Um, that's what we're looking at. That's a really well-defined saddle. Um, Dale was just commenting on these roads on the side of the mountain that kind of well, they kind of crisscross it a little bit. Maybe old logging roads or something, but yeah, they're way overgrown now. Yeah, I don't think there's any roads to the top, but <laughs> um, yeah. So Dale and I are doing a little tactical planning here. Um, there's a saddle we want to get to, but this is tough going through here. So we're going to head down the hill and see if we can not hit where that ridge goes up on this one. And that'll take us into the saddle. We think we see some kind of trail at the bottom, but going up that climb to the saddle is not going to be easy. And then it'll be an interesting hike up to the top. The left side looks doable. Um, the right side, we're not positive yet. Maybe a little bit of class three, but we'll, I guess we'll see when we get there, huh, Dale? Yes, sir. Let's try it. All right. Remember, this was your idea. <laughs> so if it goes all wrong, <laughs> you should always have a, <laughs> you should always have a hiking partner. That way you have someone to blame, right? <laughs> so Dale has maybe found our route. We found a small trail that comes around here and we'll head to this right. Once we get across this small saddle here, which isn't too far, then we can start angling up to the left and then hit the saddle. May have to zigzag a little bit. It'll be a good climb. Um, so, yeah, I started recording that track just as we left the kind of the, whatever was left of that road as we got off just to see. But um, yeah, this, is, this has been very interesting so far. It'll be an easy bushwhack up through that stuff because it's kind of open, so it's not... This side, at least, isn't rocky and stuff. I don't know what we're going to see on the right-hand side going up that slope, but... I see trees and stuff up there, so it's not going to be too bad. When you see a lot of trees growing in, there's less chance of, like, cliffs and that kind of crap. Um, I don't know. Did you bring your repelling gear and rock climbing yeah. and um, my, pins uh, and... Hang glider. Yeah, hang glider. It's not going to help us today. <laughs> Unless you plan on jumping off the top. <laughs> that might that'd be a nice way down, actually. You get some nice catch some nice thermals in here. What do you think, Ray? She's like, let's get cracking. We're just gonna cut down there and then we'll start using this bottom of this mountain to kind of angle up continue to evaluate what that ridge looks like it's not going to be easy on this side but there's no side to this thing it's going to make it easy to get to the top all right we're gonna use this guy i'm gonna recon the uh, south side of this mountain see what the cliffs look like because the north side's looking better all the time but we'll do a little recon with the drone check it out uh, assuming I can get this thing up and flying. Your, your marker's a little off the side, dude. <laughs> Dale, come check this out. We're flying.
coming over the saddle here, climbing. We're up at about 450 feet now, coming up to 500. And we're gonna rotate around and just look at it. According to the topo, this side is less steep, but I don't know, yeah. Yeah, and look over here, we got cliffs on this side, but if we if we round about Go to down. this over here, it yeah. looks it looks passable. Yeah. Um, yeah, we just have to get around these rocks, maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll Let's take a look at it. Get to the saddle and then look around the rocks. Yeah. Let me just motor up there. We're at about 13 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to stop here. Rotate yeah. over just a little bit. Yeah, if we could maybe cut through there and then... Mm -hmm. Up around the, these rocks over here? Yeah. Let me just look down a little bit. There's the, there's the, there's rock. the rocks. Oh, this know. is going to be tough getting through here. Yeah. Right? But there's trees and stuff. Yeah. It looks doable. Let me just... Well, there's a trail on this side too. Let me... Let me you see a trail up through there? Right through a cut? There, right through there. Down low. Below the rocks. Maybe if we get to those that trail and cut up and then maybe take the tree line up. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell. It is. Um, let me change the setting here. A little bit darken this guy up. So that'll be Yeah, if we, I'm at, I'm at 800 feet now, looking down. Yeah, it looks like we can go up that ridge there. And then there's that, that bump that we saw from Nutrioso. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Now, this will give us a, a view to the other side, which should be very interesting. Coming around this side up and over. Let's take a look down. Look at that. Yeah. That looks like a lot more huh. passable, yeah. doesn't it? And there's a road. No, there's not. That's just a line. But that's an interesting cut down through here. Yeah. And that actually looks like a better better route. It's on the other side. Yeah, that might be. You just stay left here. Yeah. So we're going to fly this thing back around to me, hopefully. Let's see. We're at 20 miles an hour. No. Height is 800 feet. Okay, as you can see from our recon flight, <laughs> the dog almost crashed. Um, I think that was useful. What we learned was we're probably better off going up around the north side or northwest side of this mountain instead of choosing the south side. Um, it's going to be a little bit better approach. So confirmed kind of kind of what we were thinking, but it was kind of cool to be able to do a recon like that. So I'm glad I hauled this thing up here. Let's get cracking. Dale and Dale and Ray are just going to leave me here. We found a little game trail through here. It's going to help us as we navigate over around to the north side of this baby. Ah, Dale's like, why do we keep sobbing? I said, dude, I just have to, you know, shoot some video. And he's like, bullshit. You're out of breath. And he's right. So on the chart, we are right here. Um, if you take a look, we Based on the uh, drone recon, we chose to come up this way, and then of course an eyeball look at it. We know we can do this. It looks like I keep wanting to go around to the north side and go up because that looked even easier, but this is definitely doable because there's trees all the way up. It's just going to be really steep. This is what we're looking at right now. We're a little tuckered, but we can do it. Dale, tell them we can do it. 
I'm not so sure. <laughs> wait, wait, dude. <laughs> I need fun. some I need some moral support here. <laughs> yeah, this, Go. this is fun. Just say yeah, we can do it. It's way more fun than following a trail. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of a challenge. Yeah, that's definitely a challenge. All right. I'm uh it's it's great to have Dale with me on this suffer fest. <laughs> but we are having fun, so it's uh, fun to kind of change tactics, look at things and you know, change on the fly. Hopefully Dale feels the same way. <laughs> All right, let's get cracking. Ray, get some water. some more at the top. Oh, thanks. We found a, a small path. Wow, this is challenging. We just made it. I think we're on the saddle of those little two little bumps on the mountain. I'll zoom in. As you can see on the uh, graphic here I'll put a pointer by where we're standing so just one other note about that map um, you'll see the number of uh, how many miles and the number of how much elevation gain we've got um, that's actually since I turned it on which is about the time we left that kind of main slash trail road whatever it was and then headed into the unknown so I want is interested to maybe look at it when I get back to see uh, certainly, uh, it's a doable route. We know that for sure, because I made it, but um, it'll be fun. I'm going to look off. The actual high point here is right over there where Dale headed. We're going to head over there. I'm going to look at that north side, because I, I think the drone was on the north side and indicated it might have been an easier ascent. Uh, but I may go, go down that way just to recon it for next time. Um, this is so close to my summer home that um, you be a you know it might be on my list of things to do next year, <laughs> year after or never. But uh, pretty views from up here. We're gonna get some more views for you, and uh, a little bit of ham radio and some drone shots. So let's get up to the high point and take a look. Okay, we're on the uh, probably the northernmost side of this summit. Then it drops down to this other little peak. And, God, I don't know, that's a drop-off over there, too. We'll probably, there's cliffs all along here between here and the way we came up. There's cliffs off to my right. And I actually can't try to come up the east side one time, so I know there's a good, good set of cliffs there. But a great view here into Nutrioso, Arizona. The hamlet of Nutrioso. Um, kind of back there is a highway. And then we're looking straight at... Escadilla Mountain, beautiful view there. A little hazy uh, this morning, see some cloud buildups um, to the, um, basically almost due north from us, about uh, 020 bearing. Uh, so we'll probably get some buildups, some puffs over there. So we got some time to get, some, get on the radio and get off the mountain before lightning comes. Um, dog is, she's, she's worn out. That uh, other dog, I call him Dale sometimes. He's worn out. Oof, I'm torched. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get the radio set up. See if we can contact the uh, YouTubers bunch. All right. I thought the trip up the hill was hard. I set the damn antenna up three times because I'm try I was trying to configure it. So I could sit right under this, this really large tree. Ah, now I'm watching the buildups over there, over my, straight over yonder. We're not gonna be able to be up here for an afternoon. But, my God, I'm gonna be freaking comfortable for the smallest amount of time I am gonna be up here. Oof, I am in the shade. I do have my chair out, sitting kind of within the rocks, but man, it's a lot more comfortable than sitting on these damn rocks and weeds and, or, pokey stuff so 
Hopefully we'll be able to do a little chasing. I haven't checked to see if I had cell service. I do have satellite service because I just checked that. There's a cell tower right over here, so I'm thinking we should be good to go. Cell tower range. Uh, cell tower, cell range. Alrighty then. Um, whew, that was a interesting time up here. The bands are really kind of weird, difficult. I don't know. I got uh, 18 and contacts and five summit to summits. I think Dale netted. He was about the same, and then I went and flew the drone. And he got about 15 more, so he did pretty well over there. Um, band conditions on 20 were weird. Uh, we couldn't. We were trying to work Dale and it was like the noise level would come up and then it would dive and yeah, it was hard working that guy in Oregon. Everybody was hard actually. Every contact was pretty hard there. I got Christian actually from France was one of the easier ones. <laughs> but the Oregon guys were hard and uh, yeah, I, it, was a, it was a tough activation uh, radio wise. Uh, a bear getting up here. So we're going to head down and uh, to get some lunch so we'll wrap it up down there at the truck if you're watching this video that means we made it back to the truck we got a ways to go
Well, everybody says going down is easier than going up. I'm gonna call BS on that. It's only for this hike and that one in New Mexico, but we're getting her done. We're not breathing as hard, but just trying to stay upright. All this loose shit up here. So, all right, let's get cracking. All right, Dale, I want to inform you that thanks to my fine navigation skills, we found the road over here. Ah, <laughs> uh, we made it back to the pickup. <laughs> it was an effort. Uh, I don't know, it seemed like almost as hard coming down that thing and then going up, as going up. Um, I got 18 contacts and five summit to summits. Dale got, what, 29 and... and nine summits 29 and nine like <laughs> um the bands were not that great today i was hoping to get in a side band contact those are a little bit more fun to watch on the radio i mean on the youtube but um yeah the bands were just i thought crummy yeah. i had a hard time getting a lot of guys and people normally came in strong were to come in really weak on and 14 was really weird it was like get really noisy and then people would drop off and then it would kind of quiet down they'd come back it's really weird but anyway uh tough trip i'm i'm ready to have a beer and grab something to eat Oof. um so i think it's time to uh roll the credits maybe a little mail time in here <laughs> and uh or mail call maybe a little mail call and uh and we'll roll the credits if you want to learn more about the hobby, I've uh, did a four-part activation series and some stuff on chasing. Go to hamninja.com slash soda360. And um, if you want to see this ego get even bigger, hit that like and subscribe. 73, guys. Somebody is hot and tired. And her name is Ray. <laughs> uh... It was hot today. Take 22. We're laughing too much. <laughs>